the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. At that time, Jesus proceeded to tell a parable because he was near to Jerusalem and because they supposed that the kingdom of God was to appear immediately and he said, a nobleman went into a far country to receive kingly power and then return. Calling ten of his servants, he gave them ten pounds and said to them, Trade with these till I come. But his citizens hated him and sent an embassy after him, saying, We do not want this man to reign over us. When he returned, having received the kingly power, he commanded these servants to whom he had given the money to be called to him, that he might know what they had gained from trading. The first came before him, saying, Lord, your pound has made ten pounds more. And he said to him, Well then, good servant, because you have been faithful in very little, you shall have authority over ten cities. And the second came, saying, Lord, your pound has made five pounds more. And he said to him, And you are to be over five cities. Then another came, saying, Lord, here is your pound, which I kept laid away in a napkin, for I was afraid of you, because you are severe man. You take up what you did not lay down, and you reap what you did not sow. And he said to him, I will condemn you out of your own mouth, you wicked servant. You knew that I was a severe man, taking up what I did not lay down and reaping what I did not sow. Why then did you not put my money into the bank? And at my coming, I should have collected it with interest. And he said to those who stood by, Take the ten pound from him, and give it to him who has ten pounds. And they said to him, Lord, he has ten pounds. I tell you that to everyone who has, who has will more be given, and from him who has not, even what he has will be taken away. But as for these enemies of mine, who did not want me to reign over them, bring them here and slay them before me. And when Jesus had said this, he went on ahead, going up to Jerusalem. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, the gospel of the day begins with Jerusalem and ends with Jerusalem. It says Jesus was near to Jerusalem and the gospel ended saying he went on ahead going up to Jerusalem. And Jesus going to Jerusalem is Jesus going out of his comfort zone. Jerusalem is not going to be easy for the Lord. It is there that the Lord will have to stretch out his hands on the cross and die naked. It is there he will be mocked, derided, rejected by the elders and put to death. And the Lord 
as the gospel of luke says he put his face towards jerusalem and walked resolutely and the lord was ready to go out of his comfort zone and because of that the fruit of that is the salvation that we have and from this attitude of christ a message can be drawn from the parable that the lord is giving us today he is calling the servants and giving them the money to trade and trading is going out of their comfort zone and doing something the first one goes out of his comfort zone definitely has gone and traded he has made 10 more the second one went out of his comfort zone and made five more but the third one would not go out of his comfort zone he says i was afraid of you i hid it in a napkin i put it under under the ground and now here it is he was not ready to go out of his comfort zone when we look at the history of salvation the victory belongs to those who went out of their comfort zone beat abraham when abraham was called he was called out of his own land to go to a place which he was not aware a culture which he was not at all knowing anything about a people whom he was not aware the lord says come out go to a land that i will show you and abraham obeyed and becomes the father of nations he came out of his comfort zone it was rather easy for abraham to stay there but then he obeyed the lord the lord said abraham come out of your comfort zone come out of your comfort zone there is something that is holding you back from the glory that is waiting for you and abraham said yes lord and it was not easy for abraham for moses in the lord of, in the land of midian he was happy he was married he said my work of salvation in egypt is over i tried i failed now i am married here i am happy he was in the land of midian and there the lord calls him moses come out you are comfortable here but then you will be victorious there in egypt the mighty moses will be seen in egypt not here come out of your comfort zone he did come out and became the greatest leader of all generations of all generations in the past and in the future in the in the years to come the greatest leader of all generations and history of salvation cannot be read without moses cannot be read and that is how the lord glorified moses when he came out of his comfort zone and listened to the lord mary our blessed mother it was not easy for her when she was unmarried to get that message that you will conceive and bear a son not at all easy and she was aware of what would happen if she says yes just because it was from the lord she says i am the hand made with the lord in other words lord i'm ready to come out of my comfort zone and mary our mother when she came out of the comfort zone she becomes the mother of god she becomes the mother of god it was not easy for joseph to accept our blessed mother having known that she was pregnant already it would have been comfortable for joseph to get away from her very comfortable but the lord says joseph that is not right listen to me and he comes out of his comfort zone the comfortable thing that joseph wanted to do is get away from her that is what the bible says quietly just put her away but the lord says joseph that is not going to be comfortable for you you will be remembered in the history of salvation as the just man and all those who came out of their comfort zone were glorified today what is my comfort zone that is holding me back it may be a habit of mine it may be a relationship of mine it may be something that is holding me back from the glory of god from that great crown that is waiting for us for paul it was that enmity that he had towards christ and christians that was his comfort zone paul was happy 
hurting Christians, going around, arresting them and killing them. He was comfortable doing that. And the Lord says, Paul, now come out. Come out of your comfort zone. It was not easy for Paul. Someone was killing Christians. Now we'll have to fight for them. No, preach Christ. Not comfortable. I was killing them. Now I've got to stand and die for them. And he did stand for the Christ and for Christians and die for them. Not easy. It was not easy for Abraham. It was not easy for Moses. It was not at all easy for our mother. It was not easy for anybody, even for Peter for, the, that, for that matter. The only thing that they knew, knew is fishing. And the Lord says, Peter, come out. I will make you fisher of men. Not easy to give up that little job that they had. That is the only security for them. And the Lord says, come out, Peter. And today, Peter is the foundation of the church. Is the foundation of the church. Only when we come out of our comfort zone will that glory of the Lord be experienced. And what is my comfort zone today that is holding me back from the glory of God? To reach that crown that is waiting for all of us. And each one of us, when we sit back and think, we know that comfort zone that is pulling us back. We know. And today, the Lord says, come out and increase. Okay? Let the glory of God fill all of us. The Lord has given His grace to everyone, to each one of us. It is we who need to use it like Abraham, like Moses, like Peter and like our Blessed Mother.